Hello folks in this podcast I want to discuss about intrinsic value and deep value what they are and how they are different from each other and why it is very important for you as an investor or an entrepreneur should uh, have deeper knowledge of these two I may not be able to cover the in depth of this topic uh, in this podcast um that will be reserved for the seminar uh, but I am intend to give you a overview uh, so that you will understand um the overall perspective of what they are right so uh let's talk about intrinsic value we've been talking about intrinsic value in my previous uh, podcast you know and um, i've been given the myonomics uh, it's all about uh, capturing the intrinsic value uh, of uh, assets so we live in the digital asset uh, age where there are a lot of uh, new avatars of uh, derivatives in the form of digital assets are uh going to be hitting and bombarding the market and uh, one has to be ready uh in terms of uh, deeper understanding of uh, these uh, breed of uh, assets so that you can make a wise decision uh in terms of uh, either uh, investing or trading or uh, even creating them right So what are these intrinsic values so where intrinsic value is something based on the natural ingredients and the ability of the thing that you are um, creating or thing that you are trading so uh, these characteristics are tensor in value so six you should be you know uh, looking at its uh, tensor uh, characteristics so all these characteristics needs to be identified analyzed combined together to get the composite of uh, the thing you know from the primitive uh, nature of these characteristics you need to uh, get the composite in order for you to do real good modeling uh, you know uh, psychological modeling or mathematical modeling right but, but then you need these composite uh, uh, models to be created from the fundamental um, or the primitive models so uh, what are these uh, characteristics you know at least 20 different uh, basic characteristics of anything that you want whether it is uh, you're talking about the thing with the intrinsic value or think with the deep uh, uh, value um, they need to be uh, analyzed from this characteristics perspective these are the fundamentals w- what they are so ability desirability tradeability conceivability anchorability sustainability expandability extendability combinability engageability disengageability immutability and mutability attainability composability derivability repeatability perceivability marketability and transferability these are the basic 20 tensor values that one should be uh analyzing uh you when know, as a fundamental thing to design the primitive model so how the modeling works basically you know a uh, very simple thing you know from an object uh whatever the thing that you are uh, you know doing whether you are talking about a metal or you are talking about a piece of real estate or to- talking about a piece of a company in the in the form of stocks or equity uh what you do is uh, first uh, identify the lowest item which is lowest thing form of the thing is uh, the object right um that is coming from a deeper inside right the company or the or the thing that you are modeling um from the object you get into creating element out of it and then from element you do get into creating primitive model and from the primitive model you create a composite model so multiple primitive models combined together to create a composite model and finally you get to model the nature or the intrinsic value of that thing right 
Um, so that's a, uh, you know, in the seminar we will be discussing uh, much uh, deeper into it and how to do it. Uh, but uh, as of now in this uh, uh, video, uh, I would like to give you the introduction of how uh, the intrinsic value uh, needs to be approached. Right. So when it comes to you know uh, deep value, the deep value, the intrinsic values, you know, still can be uh, much much easier to identify compared to the deep value. Uh, so intrinsic value comes from the the thing itself, the natural natural characteristics of the thing, ingredient of the thing itself, right? Uh, so it, all you need to do it do, uh, analyzing, identifying, analyzing, uh, and then uh, combining the facts and figures together and do the modeling, and then apply right to derive at the value uh, but when it comes to deep uh, value so these deep value are uh, kind of uh, you know uh, values that are embedded in a in, in inside a deep network so basically the primitive not regular primitive uh, and uh, uh, composite modeling a lot work here um, here you need to get uh, uh, network model, uh, basically artificial neural networking model, in order to get the deep value, because these values are, uh, um, you know, embedded uh, within the network of um, within the organization or within the history of the uh, the the thing that we are talking about, right? Uh, network exist or not? A blueprinted uh, blueprinting of the re neural network exist or not? Um, whether you model it or not, uh, these naturally these blueprints and this neural network exist. You are only recreating this network and then doing doing the computer modeling, and then you create a, a business modeling on top of it. So there are two different types of uh, informatics are applied uh, when it comes to the deep value. One is uh, computer informatics. Uh, doing the computer modeling of this uh, neural network of um, you know uh, of the history of the thing that you are talking about, and then you are going to be applying the uh, business informatics on top of it. So business constructs are uh, have to be applied on top of the computer constructs in order to do the modeling. So these deep values uh, can be fetched uh, just like that or modeled just like that. You need to apply um, a recursive mechanism of uh, you know do a backward propagation throughout the history or uh, and the time and um, you know state of the things you know going and passing through the history um, you know to a lot of uh, data analytics a lot of big data informatics uh, uh, and then the uh, state machine analytics to get those values and uh, how different they are you know the intrinsic value based uh, assets and uh, digital assets and deep value based uh, digital assets uh, end of the day they all can be create you now combined together to make a digital asset uh, but you know deep value assets are a bigger uh, bonanza on top of the uh, intrinsic values because intrinsic value again still is limited with the thing but deep value uh, is a kind of an unlimited possibility uh, based on the intelligence that you are going to be creating. So that's what um, you know. The uh, uh, you know you can create fantastic uh, digital assets with uh, intrinsic value with deep value and uh, make it uh, more uh, tradable and uh, highly valuable and uh, to create more. Through this seminar, I would love to share my knowledge, experience and expertise in the digital asset and fund tokenization space and make you more vigilant whether you are a trader or an investor or a family office uh, manager uh, or a technocrat or a startup company. Each one of you have some uh, something to take away from this seminar. A lot to take away from this seminar by the way. Right. I would love to see you guys um, I'm, I'm hand handling the seminar I'm going to deliver the seminar all over the world and uh, keep checking uh, the schedule and I uh, you know join 
in in person uh, i may part of the seminar may be available online later but uh, uh, best thing to attend the seminars in person uh, because we are going to share a lot of the knowledge and uh, you know by by work you know face to face and we are also going to have a uh, um the fireside session at the at the evening uh, in the evening uh, to you know bring everybody together check with uh, the website and um, register i would like to see you on site bye bye